Okay, today I've got a guide on how to flash the Xperia Z lock screen. So, let's take a look. Right, so the very first thing you need to do, well I recommend you do, is take a backup in Clock It Mod Recovery. So just do a backup of your current ROM status, uh, just in case you don't like the lock screen and want to revert back to how it was before. So that's what I'm just doing right now. The next thing you need to do is download the two files I have in the description. One is the lock screen and one is a fix to enable the shortcuts to the camera that act to actually work because there's a bit of a glitch in there. Um, and now please download the ones I've got because I've modified the updated script file as there is a, a mistake in there which didn't flash properly. So I've changed that and now it works. So for the purpose of this video I'll call it file 1 and file 2. So download both files, flash file 1 as soon as it's finished flashing, flash file 2 and then just restart your device. And that's it. Uh, there's nothing else you need to do because everything else is being fixed. I've done that for you. Okay now I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit because it's going to run through the updating sequence of Android because of this quite a few files and folders that have been changed around. So technology is great when it's fast forwarding. Okay, so this is what the lock screen looks like. You've got the little blind effect and you've got the unlock for camera and you've got the unlock for music. Now for the music to work from the unlock screen you'll need to have the Sony music player because that's what it links to. Now as you can see my widgets didn't load properly and my unlocked camera from the lock screen is quite slow. That's purely because I've just booted up and my SD card, external SD card is trying to initialize. That's purely the reason it's, it's, it won't do that for, to your device. That's all there is to it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.